Can you get an award? Is he not coming? No direct current, right? It's a course, rather. Seven. Oh, jeez. Did, did you get my oh, That's right. That's right. I'd like to call me to order and ask the clerk to call the roll. Trustee Fenton? Here. Trustee Dodge? Here. Trustee Guerra? Here. Trustee Ruzick? Here. Trustee Calandrello? Trustee Carroll? Here. Mayor McLaughlin? Here. Please rise for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God. Indivisible. Approval of March 20th, 2017, regular meeting minutes. Motion to approve. Second. There's a motion and a second. Any questions? Call the roll. Trustee Fenton? Aye. Trustee Ruzick? Aye. Trustee Dodge? Aye. Trustee Guerra? Aye. Trustee Carroll? Aye. Mayor McLaughlin? Aye. Orland Park Chamber of Commerce Raffle Alliance. Mr. Chairman. Raffle license. Trustee Carroll. I move to approve issuing a raffle license to the Orland Park Chamber of Commerce to conduct a raffle during their annual Women's Luncheon on Tuesday, April 25th, 2017 in Silver Lake Country Club. Second. Any questions? Call roll. Trustee Carroll. Aye. Trustee Guerra. Aye. Trustee Fenton. Aye. Trustee Dodge. Aye. Trustee Ruzick. Aye. Mayor McLaughlin. Aye. Orland Park Chamber of Commerce Raffle License. Mr. Chairman. Uh, Trustee Guerra. I move to approve issuing a raffle license to the Orland Park Chamber of Commerce to conduct a raffle at their annual golf outing on Thursday, June 15th, 2017 at Silver Lake Country Club. Second. Any questions? Call roll. Trustee Guerra. Aye. Trustee Ruzick. Aye. Trustee Fenton. Aye. Trustee Dodge. Aye. Trustee Carroll. Aye. Mayor McLaughlin. Aye. Earth Day. I'd like to read a proclamation that we do every year. Uh, whereas in 1872, J. Sterling Morton proposed the Nebraska Board of Ag Agriculture that a special day be set aside for the planting of trees. And whereas this holiday called Arbor Day was first observed with the planting of more than a million trees in Nebraska. And whereas Arbor Day is now observed throughout the nation and the world. And whereas trees can reduce the erosion of our precious topsoil by wind and water, cutting heat and cooling costs, moderate the temperature, clean the air, produce oxygen, and provide habitat for wildlife. And whereas trees in our city increase property values, enhance the economic vitality of business areas, and beautify our community. Now, therefore, I, Daniel McLaughlin, Mayor of the Village of Orland Park, do hereby proclaim April 22, 2017 as Earth Day, and April 28, 2017 as Arbor Day in the Village of Orland Park, and urge all citizens to support efforts to protect our trees and to gladden the hearts and promote the well-being of present and future generations. Heart. Like that? My, heart's, my heart's glad. I think we added that this year. A lot of glad hearts. <laughs> a little cynical over here. Business Improving Pride Awards. Thank you. 
department. And some of us did it out with the spirit and we'll figure it out on our own. Uh, we have a slide presentation of most of them will be befores and after. This particular <coughs> was is an after. And it's at uh, 29 on the square drive. And we would like Marvel Stone from United Road Capital Management to come up and they did use our matching funds. fundraiser for the American Legion coming oh, up this month. Oh, fantastic. Very good. And, uh, and Pearl Vision, she's super excited. She's been here for 25 right. years. And, uh, and so she's super excited about everything. Okay. The new so, look is just fabulous. It's just doing oh, we appreciate very it. updated. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you. 
Photogenic.
Robert Morris University presentation. <clears throat> Mayor McLaughlin, Village Clerk Mihalik, members of the board, Village Manager McCarthy. My name is Panaria Bakudis, and I'm here representing the Morris Graduate School of Management, a division of Robert Morris University, located here in Orland Park. I am here to inform the residents of Orland Park of the amazing scholarship opportunity to earn an MBA at half off the tuition cost of the entire degree. As a thank you to the Village of Orland Park for continued community support for us, we are offering to its residents this opportunity to earn an MBA at 50% tu off tuition of the entire degree. Classes are offered at a flexible evening schedule designed for students to fit college into their lives. Full-time status is two courses per quarter, two evenings per week. Part-time status, one course per quarter, one evening per week. On the sheet that I passed out to a few of you, it shows Crane's Business Periodical ranked our MBA again as one of the top five universities of Chicagoland in having the most competitive undergraduate GPA. So as you can see, we have Northwestern University of Chicago and little old Robert Morris University coming in third. Also here it shows the cost of earning a, a, an MBA here in Chicagoland area, and it shows how cost com competitive we are to begin with, let alone this additional uh, scholarship opportunity that we are offering the residents. Also, Money Magazine had published a special report reporting on the best college values in the United States. Out of this mass college study, we were ranked in the top 50 colleges in the United States for Robert Morris University and ranked as a number one value all-star nationwide. Obviously, we are very proud of these accolades that we received from Money Magazine and from Crane's Business. The upcoming class starts are July and September for this year. For further information, please give us a call at the Orland Park campus, 708-226-5353. 708-226-5353. I am asking for your assistance in helping to get the word out to the Orland Park residents through the communication um, uh, avenues that you use to reach the residents. I would like to thank you again, Mayor McLaughlin, and the board for the progressive and creative vision under which you have led Orland Park. We have all heavily benefited from your vision and your guidance. Thank you so much. Thanks. Can I ask you a question? Yes, sir. So, uh, a couple things. This kind of summarizes a lot. So, do you have yes. sheets like this so we can put out in our information booth? Actually, I have sheets like this oh, that right, says right. uh, for Orland Park residents, minimum of one year, I should stipulate, uh, to earn their MBA at half what's, off. What's a minimum of one year? They have to be a resident of Orland Park oh, for oh, one I year. Oh, I see. I see. So, so, so go ahead. Question. So you, we were humble together. There, Mike. So. Joe, can we get this, can we get announcements of this in one of our emails and uh, on this on the web? Absolutely. Just make sure we coordinate with them. Yes. So we usually uh, do a fair number of uh, email distributions every month, about ten thousand households. That would be very helpful. Social That's media. all we ask. Just helping us get the word out to the residents that are interested. Yeah. No. Happy to. Thank you. And is this price, the, you know, arrangement like a uh, got a time limit on it? Like well, it is available <coughs> for those starting with us July and September. And then based on what kind of response we have, then we will see if we will continue to offer it into the following year. Gotcha. gotcha. All right. Yes. Any, qu any questions? No, it's a great program. That's great. Thank you. Well, appreciate Thank it. You. Appreciate Thank you. Appreciate you coming up much. tonight. Consent agenda. Uh, I'm going to read the, the items on the consent agenda. Or Trustee Fenn, did you have a, you said you were going to take one of these off? After you read it, I'll take it. All right. Off. Uh, payroll accounts payable, Orland Park Concert Event, City Lights Orchestra, Summer Entertainment Guide 2017 Quotes for Publication, Centennial Park Aquatic Center, Concessions, Veterans Park Redesign, Imperial Pond, uh, Native Landscape, uh, Bulk Materials, 10441 West 163rd Street, Class B res 6B Resolution, 15615 Harlem, Harlem Avenue, Class 8 Resolution, 14332 Beacon, Mixed Use, Horton Center Shopping Center Facade Update, 
West Avenue and 153rd Street, Plata Dedication, New Walter Residence, Orland Park Nature Center, McDonald's Authorizing Development Agreement, Riza Porsche of Orland Park, McDonald's Landscape Plan, and Tyler Technologies Incorporated. Any questions, comments, any items? Mr. Chairman. Trustee Fenton. Uh, I'd like to remove item K. Any other questions or comments? Entertain a motion. Mr. Chairman, I, I would move to uh, approve items A through S of the consent agenda with the exception of K. Second. Second. Any other questions? Call the roll. Trustee Ruzik? Aye. Trustee Dodge? Aye. Trustee Fenton? Aye. Trustee Guerra? Aye. Trustee Carroll? Aye. Mayor McGrath? Aye. 14332 Beacon Avenue, Mixed Use Building. Mr. Chairman? Trustee Fenton? I'd like to make a motion to table this item till the April 17th board meeting. Second. Any questions? Call the roll. Trustee Fenton? Aye. Trustee Guerra? Aye. Trustee Dodge? Aye. Trustee Ruzik? Aye. Trustee Carroll? Aye. Mayor McLaughlin? Aye. <clears throat> 2017 Professional Development Training for Staff? Mayor McLaughlin? Trustee Dodge? Uh, we discussed this at the, at the committee. In fact, we tried to pass it twice to make sure that staff has a sufficient <laughs> amount of love and training. I, I move to uh, approve the expenditures with uh, Commonwealth Centers for High Performance Organization amount not to exceed $14,120 for a three-day on-site training program and move to approve the expenditure with Northern Illinois University for Lean Six Sigma training in amount not to exceed $22,500. Second. Any questions? All roll. Trustee Dodge? Aye. Trustee Ruzik? Aye. Trustee Fenton? Aye. Trustee Guerra? Aye. Trustee Carroll? Aye. Mayor McLaughlin? Aye. 2017. You know, I do have a quick question for Trustee Dodge. So is this new employees going starting the system, or is it like the next phase? Next phase. Next phase. Combination of both, and we're trying to get more people through the program, and we actually do have some folks who went through the first piece, and they've completed their green belts, so now they're, they're anxious for the next level program. So we're going to get some, some black belts out of this sooner or later. Yeah. Next item. 2017 musical, Beauty and the Beast. Mayor McLaughlin. Trustee Guerra. I move to approve the additional payment of $555 to MTI total contract fee of $5,900 for the additional royalties for balcony seats for the Friday and Saturday, March 24th and 25th, 2017 production of Beauty and the Beast. Second. Any questions? Mm -hmm. Call the roll. Trustee Guerra. Aye. Trustee Fenton. Aye. Trustee Dodge? Aye. Trustee Ruzik? Aye. Trustee Carroll? Aye. Mayor McLaughlin? Aye. Athletic field concessions? Mayor McLaughlin? D uh, Trustee Gira? I move to approve the one-year contract with RV Concessions, LLC, to provide concessions at Centennial Park and John Humphrey Complex athletic fields for the 2017 season. Second. Any questions? Call the roll. Trustee Gira? Aye. Trustee Fenton? Aye. Trustee Dodge? Aye. Trustee Ruzik? Aye. Trustee Ka uh, Carroll? Aye. Mayor McLaughlin? Aye. Vehicle sticker printing 2017 and 19? Mr. Chairman? Trustee Ruzik? I move to approve retaining third millennium associates for the printing of the 2017 through 2019 vehicle stickers at a cost not to exceed $8,888.77. Second. Any questions? Call the roll. Trustee Ruzik? Aye. Trustee Carroll? Aye. Trustee Fenton? Aye. Trustee Dodge? Aye. Trustee Guerra? Aye. Mayor McLaughlin? Aye. Nobody signing. Nobody signing. Uh, board comments. Trustee Guerra? I just want to remind everyone this weekend, the 8th is the uh, Easter egg hunt and the doggy egg hunt. And if the fields are saturated, they will be moved to the fields across from the ice skating rink. They're a little higher there. A little drier and uh, so the, the events will go on on Saturday and then this is the beginning of the season for our the 25th anniversary of the pool 25 years ago it's hard to imagine but uh, we will be celebrating and have festivities out there when it opens for the season so we'll follow that along the way. So. Trustee Carroll. I'd just like to thank the Public Works staff for the great work they did with the flooding that we had uh, the areas of the village that were flooded were, were minimal and they were resolved pretty quickly 
the only areas that remained after the first few hours of the storm were state and county roads. So they went above and beyond, did a great job getting us cleared out. Trustee Dodge. <clears throat> it's important day tomorrow. Encourage everyone in Orland Park to uh, exercise a pretty important American right. No comments, Mr. Mayor. Trustee um, Yes, I'd like to take this opportunity to thank the Development Service Department for the wonderful presentation this evening, coming up with the awards, and I apologize for Burger King and 159th in Harlem uh, putting them together. But um, staff did a nice job doing that, and I re we really encourage uh, the businesses to come in, apply for the, um, the funding that we have available, and to get those facades up and moving and make this village continue to be one of the greatest places to be. And um, I will say it, I'm sure, speaking on behalf of the board, good luck tomorrow, Mayor McLaughlin. Uh, I, thanks. I just will add real quick to the program we're, we're talking about. The facade program is one of about eight or ten programs that we do to help small, small businesses. And out of nowhere, I'm sure you all know by now, uh, out of nowhere, the U.S. Conference of Mayors called about a month ago and, and it had chosen Orland Park as a small business advocate award. And they came out uh, from Washington and gave that to us a week ago. So it was kind of neat, but uh, it's one of, one of the programs that was mentioned that we do for small businesses so i think there's a small short executive session mr chair <coughs> uh move to go in executive session for a approval of minutes b collective negotiating matters between the village and its employees or its, their representatives or deliberations concerning salary schedules for one or more classes of employees second second call roll trustee fenton aye trustee ruzik aye trustee dodge aye trustee garrow aye Trustee Carroll? Hi. Mayor McLaughlin. Oh, you're boring. Hi. Hi. I heard you. Only because I like you. Ah, uh, see? How much right. do you have? No, thank you. I'm good. Thank you. <clears throat> I wish. Something from the brass tap on these people. Yeah. Ah, there you go. Tell me to keep, Mike, huh? tell me to keep the kitchen open. Yeah, sure.